Welcome back to Four Geeks by Geeks, the place where geeks come to geek out, among other things. As always, <laughs> <laughs> I am Boser. <laughs> Y'all, honestly, what we need to do is just take the pre-recording and put that on a Patreon, <laughs> and that's what you get. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to sit there and go through like a bloopers reel and release that every so often. because Uncut. You'll get un a word of the day. Uncut. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to talk about the word of the day now. <laughs> you know I'm what? Sorry, I got you jazzed up on it. That's Dude, my bad. First one's free. The first one. You really free. got me jazzed about pussy. Fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Austin. Um, Austin, Basically. would you like to share where pussy comes from? Um, yeah, absolutely, I would. <laughs> well, um, from from my mom's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else. Like well, else. um. Well, long story short, I used to be pretty against saying that word, you know, uh, until I learned its origin. It has nothing to do with being like feminine, like coming from vagina. It actually is short for pusillanimous, which uh, means like to be not very brave, to lack courage, uh, to be weak of heart. And so um, <laughs> it is now totally it's PC to word. say, in my opinion. It's the real PC word! It's amazing. I mean, we'll tell you about goof and how it's not okay up north <laughs> next week come back next week find it on uh, patreon the whole explanation <laughs> but hey thanks for tuning in this is your weekly episode of cloudscape a ttrpg powered mm. by fake core system which is super cool if you're not into rules but into everything else uh hey but if you didn't know <laughs> what you're watching um this is what we do i'm bozer who are you guys i'm josh I'm Brett. I'm Austin. I'm Lucas. I'm T. And this is what you signed up for. I don't blame <laughs> you if you've already clicked it. Never mind, you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been doing this and uh, in a loving every second, and I don't know, I have nothing else to say. I'm ready to jump in. What about you guys? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's, Let's do, do the thing. Let's do the thing with the stuff. First, this episode. I What's feel that like we're all going to be at a race to see who can pull off the word before everybody else can. <laughs> nice. Extra yeah. fate point first if you're the first one to be able to pull. Mouth. <laughs> Does anybody it have a stands up on a chair? <laughs> Anyone have a pusillanimous uh, aspect that we need to use? <laughs> I think I think Dave actually has a pusillanimous aspect. <laughs> I think that's his. I think that's his. Uh, that's his what's his, his his main? What's it called? His, uh, his high concept. concept. Yeah, his high pusillanimous, concept. pusillanimous <laughs> fellow. You know what? I wrote his card, but I'm changing it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm changing it. That's Dave. such a great ass. Look, I don't feel like a pusillanimous would be a Dave. fighter. That seems very counterintuitive. Well, you see, that gives you a giant was, advantage in the fight. If you think about, if you think about the uh, like his character, he seems to be like there against his will, sort of. You know. So he's not necessarily Look, a good fighter. It's the fight or flight aspect, and he is a flightless bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, no. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> if you're like. But you have to I... say it nasally. Say what? But you have to say that line nasally. You triggered my fight or flight, and I am a flightless bird. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a Dave. <laughs> That's do, you want, do you want to see how anime I could be? <laughs> if this isn't Dave, I'm leaving. I'm telling you right now, I will leave the call. You'll get what recording I have up to that point. 100%, that's Dave. 100%. We are not even 10 minutes in and I'm broken. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Cry! Uh, hey! What is composure? <sighs> Let's do this. Last time on Cloudscape, I, I usually write something, but I didn't, oh, wait. so this is me off the cuff. can't use that. Uh, last time on Cloudscape, our players were coming back together <laughs> to discuss next steps after they had just broken into Haven's apartment in the nice uh, high, not high rise, what am I, penthouse, penthouse, and implicated him as a terrorist of the Knights of Axiom. Um... But all the while, Kit was 
seething in her anger against Sirkin, who had all the while been working for the Gold family, kind of. And upon learning that, she put him number one on her shit list. But things must move forward, and so then they got Wayland ready for the fight night that he was going to enter tonight. Um, they played with the rings that he stole from Sigurd's Reach at their hit on the Royal Storehouse of X, which utterly demolished a punching bag, which Al had gone and retrieved, along with delivering four sealed envelopes addressed to Haven at four different locations, just in case he finds them. And we don't know what's in them, but when he opens them, then we get to know. <laughs> uh, but then everybody kind of got their best dress on for the fight night, headed towards the Iron Corners, back to the tallest smokestack in that district, made their way inside where they found it was a it's, it's kind of place, took an <clears throat> elevator down, and the energy had completely shifted with low lighting and uh, spotlights. It was the who's who of the underbelly of Aurora, uh, including Liana, Theo's goddaughter, who we haven't seen since she escaped Wayland's uh, chase at High Point University. Because she fell on another student. Yeah. He broke that kid's virginity. <laughs> <laughs> I broke his hymen. <laughs> Sorry, was that not... Brit is 100% leaving this show. Is that bad to say? <laughs> Wait, no, we made that canon. He was, he was on his way to lose his virginity. When you oh, him. I thought we canonized right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'll, going spend, to get I'll spend the fate point to make sure it's the <laughs> wreck on it. No. That's right, I forgot. And I, I, I coined the line, who put that bush here? I no, will be adding that to Wayland's character. Floor here, that's what floor here. Yeah. Put that floor here. So, a college <laughs> student. Virginity. His name is Chad, by the way. Because what else would it be? Theo, True. um, by the way, Broke you Chad virginity. <laughs> you should have four fate points because you ended with four last time. Heard. So you get four. I use those all the time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so we met Liana again, but she wasn't alone. She was with a really great vibe and individual named Vox. God, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who uh, apparently was the slam poet that may have attracted her towards the Knights of Axiom in the first place, but he showed an uncanny recognition of Kit in her red hair. Um, all the while, everybody made bets. Uh, if you want Dave... The fighter that showed up tonight not knowing that you're supposed to wear a mask or have a <laughs> badass name. Uh, a couple on on Captain Hook, because you rolled poorly on, <laughs> on your on name the recollection. Invention. Yeah, on the recollection yeah. of the name. But then at one point, Sirkin slipped away and used the X-Vial that you took out of Haven's secret compartment, not knowing what it would do or how it might have been formulated. Put that bad boy in your eyes. And your hypersensory that it, it normally would have triggered and kind of becoming the human lie detector turned you into seeing all things, everything, everywhere, all at once. I am God. the Watcher. <laughs> it's that, that's your fight name, except you just stand in the corner. <laughs> it's the Sherlock Holmes. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what do you yeah. do in that corner? <laughs> Phrasing. Phrasing. <laughs> and just before the fight began, they threw the energy up to our illustrious uh, investor, uh, engineer of these fights, the ironclad masked man up in the uh, viewing deck. But Theo, because of your connections and the voice, you recognized him as chief luminary, arch luminary of engineering, Ren Jebson. He's a bitch. And with Wayland in the tank, ready to fight. Fate point. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. All right. I don't know how to roleplay that, but yes. You gotta change his high concept. High concept. Now to bitch. A bitch. 
<laughs> there's two there's two distinct bitches though. You know what I mean? There's two different bitches. You've got to determine which one is which. There's the bitch that's like, guys, I don't think we should be in here. Nope, not that right? one. Right? And then the other one, parts. then the other one is like, yes. are you really gonna wear that coat with those pants? He's a male Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we we're playing a game. <laughs> All right. Are we? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. With not, this, not with status comes Karen. Not, a, not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna pick up right there in the tank with Wayland getting ready for the fight and somebody remind me does anybody remember there there was a larger individual i feel like his name was tiny and i don't remember that he was that is all is am i making this up You're, i think i, can, I can give you a list head. of our You're NPCs. Role we have buford cleo irva dave finnegan gold gremlin haven helena hendrick jensen jerry uh Judge Tolson, Kieran, Kiefer, uh, King Damas, oh. Kith Damon. I'm just going to read them These all until all you figure out it. which one. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. None I of don't those. know which one you need. I'm None trying to help you get there. Thank you. Oh, Thank I you. We do, have, like, no, we do have a tank. He's slender and stealthy, and he's a member of Sigurd's Reach. Who is that? Tank. That's the only T. Oh, know. okay, okay, okay. Oh, I miss Tank from City of Mist. Mm. And Henry. Pour one out for Henry. Anyway. I don't think he's dead. <laughs> well, the campaign's done. And I'm the sad. campaign is dead. <laughs> anyway. Retcon. Henry died. Ah! So kidding. He can't. He's Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wayland. Go watch the City of Mist episodes, y'all. It's on our YouTube. Um, Wayland, you are sitting there or are you standing. What are you doing uh, moments before bef and... Uh, you're surrounded by the other fighters in the in the room. Um, I guess I'd be sizing them up, seeing what gear they have, stuff like that. Measuring tape. <laughs> and uh, like I said last week, the, it is an eclectic group. You see um, some larger individuals. You see some slighter individuals. Um, and one guy is... He, he might be a little... Well, I, I would say old for this, but... I need he's, names and physical descriptions of all the fighters, please. He's closer to your age, um, Wayland, and doesn't doesn't have a mask. And he's looking around, like, clearly embarrassed that he just showed up, didn't know he was supposed to wear a mask, looking completely unprepared. Other individuals have, like, some weapons they're, like, fighting with and training with, and he's just <clears throat> shirtless. He's got, like, some wraps around his hands, and he thought it wasn't this public. And you're like... That must be Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, a hulking guy comes out just into the room. And, All right, guys. Get ready for a good fight. Here's how it's going to work. Round one. You get in the ring. No weapons, no X, no exceptions. If you make it to round two... Then you are welcome to use whatever weapons you have brought for tonight. And he, like, kind of glances down at Dave. And, <laughs> and Dave's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Round three is where things get interesting. If you did not bring any X with you tonight, X will be supplied to you if you choose. You may partake... And we put on a great show. The idea is not that you kill each other, but if you do, c'est la vie. <laughs> Jesus. C'est la vie coming out of this guy's mouth is almost oxymoron, uh, paradoxical for some reason for me. You know what? <laughs> don't, don't put t a tiny in a box. <laughs> oh, that was tiny talking? That was tiny. tiny. Tiny, uh, bouncer, large man. Uh, we've got some new exciting bits for the fight, but if you get that far, then you'll find out. Any questions? Nobody raises their hand, but he looks down at Dave, who's like pusillanimously putting his hand up. <laughs> yeah. Use it three times. It's mine now. There it is. It's, it's an adverb, right? You can use it as an adverb. 
<laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can use it any way you like. It's my favorite fucking word. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, but but Tank just like brings his big hand and like lowers his hand. Um, and pats him on the back. All right, get ready. Fight will begin in five. Um. Oh, I guess I do have a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is this, Wait, is Tiny, this come back. I've got one for you. Is this Austin or Waylon? Uh, this could be either of us. Um, did he didn't make it clear? Is it like a battle royale? <laughs> it's a it's it a one v one, one v one, and there's there's a bit of a said, bracket. That's... He said you're gonna get in the ring, and I was like, all of us. <laughs> Come on, everybody, get in! <laughs> uh, no, it's 1v1. Uh, there is a bracket that outside, the rest of you would see this massive chalkboard um, that they're filling in, and you can see that if you make it there, then you get to round two, and then round three is the basically the final fight. Um, and in the center of that bracket has an empty space for whoever makes it, but then underneath is... Uh, finish in parentheses her the finisher but it's spelled as douchey as possible okay okay mm -hmm. I was very confused I'm like am I gonna have to sacrifice a woman to win this <laughs> nah brah okay good um, yeah that was my only question alright the rest of you outside uh, centered around the arena what are you doing did you take your seats Theo takes a seat as close to the front row as possible if he can't get in the front row. Yeah, you get there probably close Probably pay to move people from the front row, to be honest. <laughs> That's really in your wheelhouse there. I'm um, just curious, where do you uh, put yourself in relation to Liana and Vox? Um, Between them. <laughs> <laughs> Leave room for Jesus. <laughs> Leave room for Octaris. That's what Nan would say. Uh, where would they be sitting? Theo would probably sit opposite of them so he could keep an eye on them, but still be able to be attentive to the fight. Okay, so like if you're looking across the arena, you could see them. Yes. Okay. That's that's pretty much where she would try to be as far away from you as possible. But perfect, as long as Theo can keep an eye on her. Okay. And are the rest of you sitting with Theo? I Serkin is not sitting. He is working his way. Stripping his balls out. <laughs> very <laughs> in the corner of the room, just freaking out. Yeah. Uh, I, I I imagine he's very, like, tried to look very dignified while very slowly moving around the perimeter of the room. <laughs> because he needs the idea Feet of anything just... behind him. <laughs> yeah. He's like wall. Like wall <laughs> I was gonna say, my in my mind, you're not even lifting your feet. You're just yeah, shuffling because you're like. Uh, I mean, I, just, I imagine like you know it, the pace picks up. I'll get more comfortable, but yeah, until I adjust, I imagine it's between like, this and the concussion. Serkin's not doing well. No, <laughs> I'm seeing. I'm seeing a whole Triples. new world. Serkin believes he's God right now. <laughs> um. <laughs> and uh, he's making his way towards um, he, he's established earlier that he believes that Tobias is there for construction purposes so he wants to get to a place where he can see where people are maybe bringing things in and out oh okay so towards like maybe the back yeah like if, if, if the arena is kind of built as like a horseshoe I'd be on what the ends of the horseshoe close close to the backstage I guess however this place is set up Okay, so, yeah, if you picture, like, a big kind of square room with some other shit in the room and different tables, but mainly you have the arena in the center. You've got, um, you do have four sides around of seating, but with the uh, it's viewing deck kind of above against one wall, on that same wall be below it, that's where the tank is, that's where the fighters will enter, um, so on one side is the the tank, and then on the far left side would be um, there's a door, but it's a double doors, and it's leading to like an, a hallway that some of the workers are workers. These are like kind of the 
the crew putting this fight on. Um, they're entering in and out. Okay. Uh, he makes his way over to the left side, not close enough that he can actually get a good look because he's still uh, a gambling addict and he put money on this fight. So I still need to be able to see the fight. <laughs> okay. But I want to be able to also see there when people I don't have money on aren't in the, in the ring. Sure. So mainly in like one of those vomitoriums, that's your next word, y'all. Um, the alley between the seats where you could see where people could come yeah. from. The lights dim. It becomes pitch black in this room. And some of the members in the arena start pounding their feet. And they start raising their voice. When you when he was doing that, I was thinking of Iron Man. <laughs> like, that's what I was thinking. Have... It's a Canadian thing. It's a... Yeah. <laughs> I uh I I fully uh, and I'm gonna say this as Austin, but uh, if I was a wrestler, my entrance music would be uh, what's it? Hooked on a feeling. <laughs> the idea is the idea is the lights would be completely dark, right? <laughs> The lights would oh be completely dark, God. right? The lights would be completely ooga chaka ooga ooga ooga, right? Oh. And then, and then, like I can't, oh. but, but then on the ah, right? They're like ah, that when the lights and the drums kick in, that's when the lights start and the sparklers <laughs> fly. Yeah, and then you jump on that. That's when you start doing the. Can we board. look in the cost and then you raise of your hook just hand borrowing this song on temporarily? <laughs> No, I don't care. We're just going to do it, and I don't care if we get DCMA. Honestly, I think it's worth the bit. All right, I'm writing it down. Thank you, thank you. Um, But yeah, as Austin, that's what my entrance music would always be. The hook is just like, that's just like a perfect, that's a, uh, fate uh. couldn't have done that. Fate uh? couldn't have done that. that fate was... forces, I'm going to do it. <laughs> if I can request one like scene be drawn, Austin, I need this to be the one. <laughs> I'd like to pull in my one chip for like my art request for this show. And I'd like it to be this <laughs> deal. You spend your that going. harp noise fades into the mind of uh, Austin. <laughs> so what's going on during this entrance? So while the lights are down, Wayland, um, you would feel tiny. Like, kind what? of usher you. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Um, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa, cowboy. Amazing. Amazing. You gotta buy me dinner first. So, in the tank, he's he's reading off names. He's like, all right, first up, Captain Hook and Dave. Oh, uh, we're the openers. So, while the lights are down, relief. you feel some, some people, like, kind of ushering you because what they want, and they didn't discuss this previously but what they want is for you to be in the ring when the lights come up yes i would genuinely like to spend a fate point and demand that they have to have like promos like actual like wrestling nights <laughs> <laughs> i would like there to be a story <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're making up <laughs> Are you telling me? Are you telling me for this underground fight arena that somebody has written narrative in scripts for us to memorize? If I'm being told that's how oh, fate points so work, fun. I would like to use my fate points. All right, Poster, what's my script? Did you write me a script, buddy? Did you write me a script for me to have? Am I the heel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I'm What's the narrative? What's the narrative? It. Tell me. Awesome. <laughs> so, so I'm down to three fate points. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's fate for you. <laughs> so as people are ushering you through, one person kind of slips, <laughs> slips a, an index card in your hand, and they're like, just read this, read this. <laughs> shoves you up. <laughs> and so you are put in one corner. Um, Dave is put in the other, and um, as the the climax of the stomping and the shouting and hooked on a feeling uh, at the ah <laughs> boom lights oh, <coughs> and, and the whole crowd sings hooked on a feeling. Oh. Ba -da -ba. 
Um, I think the issue that I have, right, is, okay, so our eyes are adjusting to the light. We have these cue cards. Neither of us are professional actors or wrestlers. Um, so it's just Dave, this pusillanimous fellow, and myself. And I'm just sitting here, I'm just sitting here with my cue card being like, You messed with the wrong guy, pal. I'm gonna put you... I'm gonna put you in the dirt. <laughs> and, and your Dave... family won't recognize you when I'm when I'm through with you. <laughs> he forgot his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading through the masks. I actually the... didn't know. I didn't know I needed glasses until this instant. Actually, <laughs> you, you send your when you know when you, you show your mom your phone and you've got a meme and she just looks at your phone and goes. <laughs> And, and Dave is, is looking at, he has to hold his a little further out. <laughs> <laughs> we're just two, we're just two dudes well into our middle age. <laughs> we're, just, we're just doing our best. And, hey, Buster, don't you call me those kinds of things. Oh, wait, no. <clears throat> what is it? Hey, Buster. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, nasally. <laughs> Don't you, you have call to say me. the dodo bird line? Uh, the and and he he kind of looks at what he's supposed to say and he's like, no, those those kinds of things. Uh, and, and flight or fight, you messed with a flightless bird. What is what does that mean? One second, I think this is my line. Yeah, well, I'm gonna make you extinct, <laughs> dodo. And then you hear over the loudspeaker, Fight! Begin! <laughs> uh, Theo 100% roll, like... took a shot when these promos started. <laughs> Did you? Okay. Yes. Um, do, uh, do we roll initiative? I can't remember in this game. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll initiative. What is the initiative in this um, game? It would be... Well, if you could decide. I would say either athletics or okay. perception, depending on how you want to start. Because you're both in the fight, like you see it coming, I would say roll athletics. Yeah, no one has surprise or anything. Right. Did I get a brief description of Dave? Oh. Of Dave? Yes. Ooh, ooh, Dave rolled pretty well. I just rolled phenomenal, and it makes me kind of feel worried about the rest of the fight. <laughs> <laughs> also, I also must tell you, your hair looks fucking fantastic. Thank you. Oh, it looks so good. damn good. It's so funny that you say that because I saw that you had a haircut and I'm so deeply jealous. <laughs> it's so hot right now. You look like you're in an Herbal Essence commercial. Thank you. <laughs> From the 90s. Thank you. Specifically. Yeah. Yo, me and my girlfriend both have really crazy, like, bushy, thick hair. We would have fucking pulled. We would have been the sexiest kids on the campus. <laughs> walking around with our bouncy fucking... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I rolled... <laughs> A fucking two sixes and a five, so. Plus so four. that's. So I got uh, plus three, plus two, so five, five for athletics. Okay, nice. well I thought Dave rolled pretty well, but not that well. Yeah, I I'm like really worried that I'm like okay, I'm first. Miss, By the miss, way, look at these this fudge dice. Uh, okay, once my camera. Give it all the seconds. Oh, almost, no, almost, almost. Do the do the uh, makeup it. influencer thing. <clears throat> the what? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there almost. Yeah. Almost. This is not worth it. Not worth almost. it. Hey, look at our Instagram for the fudge dice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, instead of plus and minuses, it's a pulse and a flat line. That's cool. That's dope. Don't brag. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just struggling for 10 whole human seconds. He just did that. You're like, hey, how easy is that? Wait, can I do it too? Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Even my shitty camera works. And wow. then there's Brit using wow. digital dice. Digital <laughs> shun the non-believer. Yeah, Brit shun the non-believer. Well, I, I think if anything, it might be a testament of how much higher quality that your camera might be. That yours even has a focus. I'm pretty sure That's mine true. doesn't care. No, mine also does not <laughs> care at all. You have depth of field. So you... Uh, the, it said fight begin, and, and Dave just like kind of puts up his dukes. And um, I will let you all know that for these fights... Um, each fighter has some aspects, so uh, kind of the rule of thumb is this first fight, 
he he has one use of aspect like he has a faint point that he could use um and the next round would have two and the next round would have three so it gets kind of more of like a real person oh. <laughs> less so of an I'm, npc so as i'm Ooh. burning aspects they're gaining the, like as i'm burning aspect points they're gaining them no 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 like he's got aspects just like you can use your aspects he's got one too and um later fights have oh if, if you make it he's got, he's got more but but he's only got one fate point and then next fight has two fate points while you have your normal fate points and um worry, i have if a he question some shady shit theo will hit him with a chair for you <laughs> nice hell yeah uh, okay so here's my question yeah um does it count as create an advantage to trip him um because I want to knock him prone so that I can beat his ass from above. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how like it... MMA rules, what are the... I'm sure it's not boxing. Yeah, it's it's just like fight. Like, there's really not a lot of rules, especially when you add weapons and X in the, in in the later choke? rounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm assuming I'm using my stump right now because I'm not allowed weapons, right? Right. Uh -oh. So no weapons this next, round. Next round you can fish hook, though. Next round just then drag I everybody too. around by their cheek. Also, I'll say that when the lights came up and Serpent saw who was in the ring, he stepped forward and whoever, just the person sitting in the back row, he put his hands on their shoulders and squeezed. <laughs> <laughs> like you would the back of a chair, but he did it to a person. <laughs> so there are, there's kind of bleachers, but I love the idea of you like he just climbing. reaches through the bleachers and grabs somebody's head. And just, <laughs> I'm like using this. them. Because all my money that. is on this fight. Ugh. It <laughs> oh, sure we did balls. bet on these two. I only bet yeah. on these two. So did I. <laughs> Damn it, Bozo. I didn't think you were going to make them fight first. <laughs> Can we just talk about how if it was pitch black and then all the lights turned on, you just got flashbang. <laughs> yeah. High yeah. off your ass. Yeah. No, man. Lights went off and I still saw everything. Plus <laughs> note, though, Circuit, we're guaranteed a win. That's so we true. didn't lose this bet. <laughs> That's true. You just keep telling the gambling addict he didn't lose. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, what was the deal? I want to trip him. Um, you can, you can use it like a fight. Okay. Cool. Um, and just let me know like what you're doing. Um, create an advantage might be, might be used later. Um, if you're like creating basically an aspect in the situation. Okay. Which I there will be situational aspects. Like steel chair, later et cetera. Sure, sure, sure. So for right now, I'm just gonna be attacking him. Yeah. Okay, love it. So he comes up, and his fight stance is a little off, of course, and he's, he's got kind of like slicked back hair, like he tried to look as cool as possible. Give it an um, animal description, please. What's his fight style? Um, if, if squirrel was a thing. <laughs> cool. Nice. I like that. Nice. Then he's, he's ready. Um, <clears throat> oh shit, I almost made style. an entirely Canadian joke. Whoa. <laughs> Make that's it. That's insane. Um, I, so my Dylan fighting can style is, it. is way of the house hippo. The fuck's you don't know what hippo. I'm saying, right? Yeah, uh -uh. that's a Canadian joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did it. That is, that was a, we can explain that later. Sorry, Oops, I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make, make a, a fight roll. Okay, so that is a... Uh, it's so little. That is a three. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so basically, the it was um, from the 90s or whatever, or early 2000s. 1999. Yeah, and it was a PSA basically like saying, like, don't believe everything that you uh, see on TV for kids. <clears throat> they flooded into our markets, too, because of where I'm located. I remember it was in your hand. The little house hit Yeah, and he was like, hand. he like made a nest in, in shoes and stuff. Anyway, anyway, I beat yep. his ass. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you knock the shit out of him. How do you do it? Um, yeah, like I said, I want to go for his, uh, like, I want to sweep him from his legs and I want to knock his, uh, back onto the canvas flat. Uh-huh. And then I just want to put my weight on top of him and start beating his up, beating his ass up. All right, so he comes, he comes at you and as soon as you approach, like, he's like, oh shit, I've never been in a fight before. And... <laughs> 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 you sweep his leg, slam him to the ground, and just kind of get on top of him and slam his face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to be. I want to have like a an advantage. I want him to be swinging, you know, up at me and me swinging down on him. Um. So yeah, he takes. 
Uh, and he does have physical and mental stress boxes, just like you. Um, but that was a three? Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, I should have had a conversation with Bowser about not using player stats as NPC fights. Only because it's this kind of thing. Right, but you're going to cripple yourself with what you're going to be able to do with these NPCs because you're not creating a NPC stat box. So you're going to find yourself limited by what you believe is available. Think more of a okay. narrative. What can they do and set a threshold for Austin to reach? for him to be beaten so you're not looking at that like oh, oh he just hit the physical stressors that the pc characters get and now this fight's not fun your npc should be a bit of a challenge don't think of them as a stat think of them as places you need to reach an achievement to defeat got it and for the most part i kind of did just for my tracking so that it's because for Wayland especially, because I know you are so fucking ripped as a fighter, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm Dave, obviously no, but future fights, I'm like, I set these a little higher and I just wanted to track that so it wasn't a one punch knockout for every person. Okay, that was my fear because the face you gave, like, oh, he's asleep already. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone except Dave. <laughs> um, so yeah, with three, you punch him square in the nose and it's instantly broken blood splatters everywhere Damn. yeah you see the blood just pooling like instantly like in his eyes oh god oh. i mean um, yeah. i'm i wouldn't be squeamish but austin doesn't like that <laughs> <laughs> but from that position uh he just like kind of flails a little bit and tries to catch something against your face so he's gonna take a do a fight roll himself and then I've actually never defended before, so is this fight or athletics, or what do I do to defend here? Um, you can kind of argue what you're going to use, but you would use maybe athletics primarily. So if it defend. has a shield, it has a. I'm able to defend with it? Yeah. So fight does say that you can use it to defend. Okay. On my sheet. Then go ahead and use that. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> okay. That's a net zero, so four. Oh, he also rolled a four. Ty goes to the runner. So Ty, uh, it doesn't really uh, succeed with a hit, but he gets a boost. Oh, okay. So um, I'm going to give him a boost of... That he... Confidence? <laughs> <laughs> While he doesn't, like, catch you, he, he does, like, take note that you are without a hand. Okay, sure. And I'm going to be able to invoke that aspect for free later. No wrist locks for you. Hey. Okay. Um, so and then, but he does manage to, like, get out from underneath you. And so he's, like, kind of crawling back towards the corner. And he's he's no longer like no longer Like backpedaling or, like, hands and knees crawling? And, <laughs> like a crab. Um, like a crab. Yeah, crab walking back. That's Dave's specialty. He's a fisherman. <laughs> yeah you know i hit those i hit those crabs with the old crab walk and then they think i'm their mom <laughs> yep they they follow me around and i have a little That's army a, all right so i'm gonna uh i guess i'm going to like classic dave i guess i'm gonna be kind of like what's the word um by the by his um demeanor and how yeah. he's fighting i'm gonna be pretty like i'm gonna drop my shoulders a little bit like confidently and i'm just gonna walk up to him very scary and i'm just gonna continue the fight but like i have i've now kind of determined that this is not much of a of a problem 14 fucking punches <laughs> yeah well and then i'm gonna fuck up this dice roll and it'll it'll be all for nothing but i'm gonna confidently approach him slowly and all right just square up on him again listen if dave wins i mean he's the underdog i'm gonna fucking win big on this so <laughs> theo's not upset either way um that's another net zero so plus four I'm so bad at rolling dice mm -hmm. oh no so no wait no it's a plus, plus one four. plus five it's five it's a five i misread the dice my bad um okay so <laughs> shit so as he's like going to the corner and then it's quickly like wiping his eyes and like trying to reset his nose you come up to him off the top right? yeah if it, if he's like if if i rolled way higher as far as i would like to just like kind of pick him up like by his hair or something and just like jesus 
<laughs> just like kind of like because he's like he's like low, right? He's like on his hands and knees a little bit. So I'm just gonna like kind of pick him up so yeah. that I don't have to like punch downwards and just like punch him kind of straight with your stump. Yeah, he, the beautiful thing about it, right, is like I don't have to worry about reaching and it being awkward for my elbow because I am missing this much meat. So I just kind of <laughs> comfortably punch him right in his face again. So at that point, you pick him up by his hair and you go to reach back, but I'm going to go ahead and just use that boost, that invocation of nice. your without your hand. Oh, and he, uses, he kisses it. He's invoking right hand, man. <laughs> he kisses it. You try to pick him up with your stump. <laughs> <laughs> you're like shit shit shit, shit. I just so from <laughs> just give him a just, noogie <laughs> you're like like rub it on him a little bit and i'm confused that would be the worst noogie just a metal nub noogie oh God. <laughs> oh um, the okay. friction <laughs> um okay so sorry uh do i fail then i don't uh, no you tied again okay with, with that boost you tied again and does, does you pick him up by his hair because yes I, I tied Yes. I don't uh, get so, to decide my boost, though you do. Yeah. Um, you get a boost called Pusillanimous. And okay. the fact yep. that he is. So, Grab him so by the Pusillanimous. Uh -huh. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, was that, was that the line? Did we meet the line? Did we find it? Might have found it. Might have found it. <laughs> Crossing that threshold. I love it. So you, you miss because he just kind of skirts your stump away. Um, but you do know that. You can use his fear against him. Okay, cool. Um, and so he's going to attempt to like break the the grip on his hair and give a good gut check. Oh shit! I gotta roll. Yeah. My bad. I keep forgetting the way this, this is so game much works. better. And picturing uh, it is like four. an amateur fight night. Wayland's coming in, not aware that it's like a wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So uh, I got I rolled in at zero, so it's just four. Jeez, you're fight is off the charts i know it's I, i'm actually really happy that i keep rolling zeros and not negatives so it stays a high number yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were worried you were gonna get like an eight and just like punch through the man <laughs> oh i can't use my bands until next time i was like i should be uh, with a plus one right now but yeah you're right i mean so, that would just be clothing they wouldn't be aware of that uh, i don't know it's fine we're already into the fight we're already into the fight yeah wayland is a you know an honorable so he, man he kind of flails, but he doesn't. He's not able to break the grip onto your on his hair. He's like, ow, and he's like reaching for something, but he, he doesn't connect. So you've got him by the hair. God damn and it! Theo's gonna have to take wait or fucking Dave on as a client, figure out why he's in this fucking situation. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So then, uh, I guess. Um, so he get he he doesn't get loose of me. No. I'm still just like holding him up. For sure. Okay. Um I'm out of the ring. Then I guess what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna go for an uppercut. <laughs> I'm gonna try to end this right now. Alright. <laughs> Another net zero. So that's uh plus mm -hmm. four. Use your okay. boost. Wait, do you get to tie, use your boost now? Can I decide to use my uh, boost if it's a tie? I you got a three. Oh, so I win, so that's fine. Oh, no, yeah. I'll use my boost, and that'll be three shifts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll do that then. Okay. Keith, go fly. This is a Baki finisher. <laughs> so people can in the crowd can kind of see what's about to happen. And you hear, like, oh. And as you slam him with your metal stump under the chin, you connect, and it's right at the corner. And everyone just goes, oh as he gets air and just kind of limp bodies over the uh, the ropes I pushed him out of the ring damn bro. You punched him right out of the ring I like I like let go of his hair so I could like tee off on him yeah <laughs> and he gets some air flies out of the ring and it like collapses like you know what's it called uh, scorpions his body just oh shit <laughs> his heels touch the back of his head uh huh Outside okay. the ring, uh, Theo wants to take notes to see who gets more upset about this than most people should be outside of like losing bets. Okay, uh, roll a perception. <laughs> <laughs> One single. One two. single. Two. He whispers, "Dave." Uh, that's a three total. 
Are you looking at like the on watchers? Yeah, just kind of scanning the crowd to kind of see if there's like any anything going on that would like indicate that like Dave should have won this fight and there's some backhanded dealings going on. Yeah, uh, someone someone fixing the fights. Yeah. Uh, as as you're looking around, honestly, you don't see a lot of surprise. Okay. His name and I want to look for Sirkin and see how Sirkin responds. And you see him like white knuckling. <laughs> Just um, a stranger. <laughs> no, not David. David. You could have been the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Dave if Dave would have beaten Wayland, I would have just like canceled Wayland and I would have role played as Dave for the rest of the game. <laughs> I would have just assumed Dave. The masked trades hands. <laughs> yeah, Wayland would like offer it to him and be like, you have people you must defeat for me. <laughs> this mess comes with a burden. Damn, so you're actually your just hands. playing the mask. <laughs> so, uh, so then as some helpers come and just like grab Dave, you see that they drag his limp body through those double doors, uh, circling that that you're semi near Perfect. into the back hallway, um, and where are you in relation to Theo? Or, or a better question: Where are you in relation to Liana and Vox? Well, uh, we know where I am. I don't know where they're sitting. I'm by. I'm all over by that uh, that staff entrance or yeah. they i would say that they're in that same set of bleachers okay on that side so you're directly across but because of your hypersensory right now um you're really just a row or two away from liana and vox and you overhear liana like dude like you missed that whole fight like quit staring at her like what's your deal with her And, and he's, uh, it's, uh, no, nah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just, uh, no, it's, I'm not into her. I swear. Is I, he lying? I can Ooh. see his, I can, I can see his, I can see his heart his beat. Heart beat <laughs> from here. Uh, he's not lying. He's not lying. He's not he, into her. He's not lying. He's not into her. All right. And it's safe to assume this isn't in relations to Kit, right? Uh, yeah, because directly okay. across from you, I, okay. Kit, you're with Theo, right? Mm -hmm. So this is your first fight night. How's Kit taking this? Um, Kit's more worried about the situation going on behind the scenes than the actual fight because, I mean, it just really isn't appealing to her. Fighting it's is. A massacre. <laughs> you want to see? You want to see the old man slapping some skins? I mean, she's concerned about Waylon, like so. She's like watching, but like, she's more like looking around the possibility of her dad being there and true, you know. So, I do you want to roll a perception that. check? Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Okay. A five. Oh. oh see it all so while that fight was going on like you were checking in with wayland but as you're looking around um you see everybody just really into the fight you see the helpers and the workers kind of milling about and um but straight across from you you do catch that vox is locking eyes not like trying not to make eye contact with you but when you catch a glance, like he is constantly staring at you. And with a five, because that's uh, superb on the difficulty on the competence chart. Um, you would note that there's like, he, he's almost like in his mind thinking, shit, shit, shit. <clears throat> um, I'm going to grab Theo's arm, like like not so he looks at me but like just to kind of whisper like that box guy just he's he's makes me really uncomfortable can i roll resources to shoot a text off to one of my contacts <laughs> at the light guard 
to get see if Vox has a record. Um, roll connections for roll that. Roll connections. Yeah. Oh, thanks. It's even better. Hmm? Uh, that is an eight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> you guys. <laughs> I slap people around. He calls Listen, people around. if you around. gave me resources, it would have been a seven. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that, resources would apply like if you said... Um, I put a tracker on her. I need you to roll resources to see if you have it. We, I didn't make you do that because we weren't doing it right. But <laughs> things like that. Or I pay, I write a check. You know, I want to see if you have the actual resources to do that. Um, but if you want to see if you have connections in the light guard, um, well, you've already established that you... Yeah, I just want to shoot a text to one of my contacts to look into box. So that's why I thought I had to roll resources. Um, what was his name? What was his name? Um. Uh. Oh shit. Tomas. Dave. <laughs> Tomas. Tomas. Is the, Tomas. He's the guy that checked the fingerprints and yeah, mm. at the Royal Citadel. So what's the text say? Uh, need you to look into a guy named Fox. Do you think that's his real name, or does he think he's just super pretentious? Super pretentious, for mm. sure. Okay. He really liked CR1, so... His real name is Vernon. <laughs> Vernon. <laughs> Alright, so you shoot a text. Um, yeah, and I'm not expecting immediate answer, just something to be yeah. in the background. And to note, the rest of you... Like, it's not all Waylands fighting back to back to back. You see some other fights, but I'm just not playing those out. <laughs> Uh, uh, excuse you. Question. I want to know money on, this. Money <laughs> on these. I fights. want to know everything that happens. You have way, you have money on Dave and, and Wayland. <laughs> My yes. Yeah, I also want to know their names and scene. their backstories. And exactly. I want to know I'm still what waiting for physical in. descriptions on uh, everybody. Yeah. I also want to know the story persona, yeah, their wrestling crazy. persona, their promos. Hey, um, yep. Buzzer. Yes. I'm on your team. Thank you. <laughs> Majority. I'm rules. just pulling your leg and making your life difficult. <laughs> So I'm just doing chaos. constantly making anybody who DMs for me is life difficult. So, <laughs> given my heightened state, yes, uh, it, it would Vox stand out to how I see the world right now because you said he's kind of panicky. So, is that a unique? Does it stand out? I guess. Um, there's. I guess I don't think it would stand out. Like a lot okay. of people are panicky because they've got money riding on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe they know these people, though many of them, except for Dave now, are masked. So, and they've come up with some cool names. So only like like with you guys, you know Wayland, so you are there for him, but the general crowd wouldn't really recognize him, wouldn't know him. Perfect. And then until then, Sirkin uh, stands just listening to people talk until he, if he hears anything interesting, but mostly he's watching Kit to see if Kit sees anybody she knows. So from your perspective, you would, you'd be seeing her and um, she's been looking around, but at one point she does kind of give a weird face towards Vox and lean over, whisper something to Theo. Uh, but will you roll a, make a will roll for me. Oh my God, will is sick for me. That is a six. Okay, that's fantastic on the ladder. So, while you're, like, trying to use this X and to help you really perceive everything going around you, um, it's it feels so strong, so much stronger than when you previously used the eyedroppers, um, routinely used the eyedropper. Yeah. But with that, you're, you're able to kind of, like, force the power to come through and then you can you can focus where you need it to focus awesome and so yeah you get everything you need from kit um she doesn't get a good vibe off of vox liana's like why are you staring at her and he's not lying about being into her i'm going to make my way to uh sit next to vox oh. so if there's somebody in the seat <laughs> uh, next to him, Sirkin will walk. Uh, so he is standing in front of them, like knees to knees. Mm -hmm. And he looks down. And he says, "I believe you're in my seat." 
<laughs> Roll fight. Keep in mind <laughs> what keep in mind what my eyes look like when that person looks at me. <laughs> <laughs> roll, uh, roll intimidation or provoke. You better believe with it. With advantage. I know. I kind of want to. I wish there was an advantage kind of sense. Right. I'm going to spend a fate point and re-roll that because that was all negatives. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Woo! All right. That is a two. Uh. <laughs> Intimidates only plus one. Okay. Which is shocking. Yeah. Uh, Zirkin finds himself more charismatic, so that is part of his overconfidence. Which My I charisma is very high, <laughs> but I, yeah, that's... You think so. Yeah. It's in his smile. Exactly. The smile that never reaches... <laughs> and I smile, a smile that me. never reaches my eyes. So, the person that you're knees to knees with is uh, a larger individual with a kind of a, a leather vest with some spikes on the shoulders and they just look up at you <laughs> try again and just looks past you <laughs> Theo leans to the person like on the opposite side that's not Kit uh, 20 on the dude in the red suit <laughs> and this person like excitedly like there to bet some like lose his house he's like oh yeah 20 on that guy that guy that guy oh yep. yeah 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 and like shakes your hand. Yeah. Okay. So let's play this out. Because <laughs> this is between <laughs> fights. <laughs> so people are bored and they need something to bet on. Yeah. Promos. Um, Circin uh, bends at the waist, leaning all the way forward as close <laughs> oh, as he can get, like to the guy. So he's. <laughs> Wait. How is Liana responding to this? She's seen Circin. If she's she got shot at by Zirkin. She did. Yeah, oh, and she she's. Would, that's she a good would point. Probably be audible in this moment. <laughs> so anybody watching her can kind of like visibly see her grip Vox's leg, uh, but she's trying to play it cool. She doesn't want to alarm anybody, but she was utterly freaked out by you previously, mm -hmm. um, and so she didn't forget that. But she's feeling a little more confident since then. But she's definitely like from two days ago. I mean, she's not strapped to a chair. <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> she has box between us. Yeah. Um. So you lean in real close. Yeah, and I uh, I whisper to him, "I'm an undercover light guard, and you are seated next to the most wanted terrorist in the country." I would believe. You should get out of here and save yourself. <laughs> uh, where would persuasion be on this list? I think that's charisma. All right, real charisma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you get... That's my you switching gears to play, to be the person this guy wants me to be. That is a five. And this person, like, looks at Vox, looks at you, Sees your dark black eyes, gulps, and just kind of scoots over, like shoving the person at the end of the row <laughs> off the bleacher. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like makes room for you. Theo holds and... out his hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. He's like for light and love, and he sits down next to Vox. And he just kind of puts up a fist, like a knuckle bunt. Yep. <laughs> Pounds it. I got your back if you need it. Uh, yeah. So Vox I just is made a best friend. <laughs> a good friend to have. Yeah. Uh, so Vox is, he's like calming Liana down, he's like patting her hand. He's like, but then he, he reaches over. So he uh, puts his hand on his other leg. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, we were one step ahead of me, my dude. <laughs> Sir, dominance now. <laughs> he says, oh, what's up, brother? And he just, like, pats your hand. He's like, that's not the way I roll, but I respect that, you know? Mm. So open-minded. You know, was we, he lying? 
<laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Uh, you you don't think he's lying, it's but college. You, you can see you're right. <laughs> he, you can see that he's he's trying to like kind of calm some anxiety because she's freaked out by you and you just sat next down. He doesn't know you, um, so he's trying to play it cool. But he's you've got him spooked a little bit. He's like, "What do I call you, my guy?" You call me Salvation. Daddy. All right, I respect that. Vox. Pleasure. How do you know my friend across the way? And he glances to Kit. And glances and back. At that, you see his, like, kind of wide mouth smile drop for a second. Uh, you know her. We're familiar. Uh, we just met. A few minutes ago. Right? And he says to Liana, and she's just like using Vox. He's a tall, he's not big, but he's tall, and she's just kind of Theo is smiling ear to ear. Hiding herself behind you, and she's just like, mm hmm. She's chewing popcorn. Do you often stare at folks you meet? And she like slaps, see? People notice. We're uh, all talking about it. Theo waves. <laughs> <laughs> and you can visibly see her eye roll and just like feeling so stuck in this moment. Uh, no, she just, uh, she reminds me of somebody. Who? <laughs> the, the lack of break between the <laughs> end of the sentence and the start was perfect. <laughs> I really thought this guy would be like the perfect like crux to circuit, but he's still getting he's still getting over him. Everybody can't get past circuit. Um and in that moment of like uh the lights drop once more. And so Wayland at this point you feel uh Wayland, next, 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 and they push you out there and, and there's another index card shoved in your hand yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. point I've ever spent <laughs> in the darkness um, while everyone is oof, 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 you guys it's, it becomes suddenly hushed as everyone hears a and it's dark but in in the very dim light and there's a few just brief lights over by like where the bathrooms would be and over by the bar um you can see the shape of a grid being lowered down onto the stage or onto the the ring the hell in a cell oh let's <laughs> go cool. dude i'm going to reign supreme i don't i can <laughs> just hang off of it can I make a stealth roll to see if I can get away with something during this blackout? Yeah. All right. I also wanted to do the same. D Jesus. Do it. Oh, we're, do we're doing shit in the dark. I'm not a stealthy boy. Uh, I got a three. And can I spend a, f I can spend a fate to make it to add two, correct? Um, If you use an aspect. Oh, if I use an aspect. Um, oh, I am <laughs> going to do use my redemption through pain. Oh God! To add a plus two, and in this darkness, I'm going to pull one of the knives I put under my oh yeah sleeve and under your it skin, under my skin, Ugh. his skin sleeve, my skin sleeve, <laughs> and and uh, and put it, mm -mm. and put it into my palm, Crazy. so that I can place the scalpel blade on the inner thigh of. Box while we're talking. Okay, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? I got a five. Oh shit, okay. So, yep. Yeah. Um it, in the it, like as people are are stomping on the bleachers, it kind of vibrates, and so your hand was there, it reappears like he doesn't feel much different. And, and without wanting to offend you, of course. Like, yeah. you know, he doesn't want to 
interact or interfere with your story that you're telling day by day. <laughs> uh, he just lets lets it ride. Yeah. Theo, what are you trying to get away with in the dark? Uh, I'd like to roll resources to pull a weapon from under the ring to put on the ring before the cage comes down. <laughs> <laughs> like in the corner. <laughs> I want that steel chair, baby. <laughs> so I can't use a steel chair with my. <laughs> to clarify, you were you have been told in the tank, Waylon, that weapons are allowed. Yeah. So yeah, I got my claw. You would have put the claw on. And the okay. band. Anything else? And the band. Okay, got it, got it. Just one. Uh, do, you have, do you have one or two? I I thought that uh, I, well, I have two, but I thought it just gave me a plus one to my rolls. It does. So I, I can't. Yeah, yeah. So okay, Nathan I don't know. If grab a, a one-handed weapon and put it on the ring, but while it's dark, <laughs> a chair Crow is one-handed. Bar. If you're strong. That's true. true. Actually, that's true. Uh, okay, roll resources just to see. Because he these pulls aren't a steel your... chair out of his jacket. Five. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Let me backtrack a little bit because resources would be like things that you have. So, did you bring a weapon in here? Did you bring a chair? Or no. if you're if you're pulling one from underneath the stage, I'm just then, assuming there's gonna be like a pipe or a stick or something. <laughs> then roll like lore to, to see if you remember somebody um, placing one there. Uh, two. All right, you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also love the idea that it just occurred to me now that Theo and Sirkin have seen this before and had never warned Wayland that it was there was theatrics in play. <laughs> We've been here. <laughs> yeah, so you you just like you're in the front row and so quickly you just in the darkness you scrounge around and you grab the first thing that you can feel uh which is hey my hair. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, yo. Ow, my nose. <laughs> Waylon was supposed to be coming out from under the stage. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's not a, quite a weapon. It's a piece of, like, pipe and drape, you know? They just use pipes, so they've kind of used that. But you notice that one got accidentally kicked under there earlier, and so you just grab it and throw it on the stage. Perfect. <laughs> just before the, the final, like, click, 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 click. So... And now, Theo elbows Kit and points it out to her. <laughs> so when the lights <laughs> flash on, what we see is this huge metal cage that, um, as you can see on the far corners, are attached with like giant hydraulics that you've seen previously. Al, you saw previously. We see Wayland, and across the way. You see, it's interesting, they they kind of, they have a mask on. It's just like a very uh, white mask with featureless mask, just with eye holes. Um, but they've got their shirt off, and the top of their torso is a little bit different. And this is something that you might see some of here in Aurora, uh, because when the extinction event or you know adjacent extinction event happened on the planet it it quickly mutated the planet below um and while you guys are high above you're still not without you're still without you're not beyond the reach of the mutation in some spaces and so some part of the population has undergone a bit of change almost to a new species this individual they look humanoid, um, but you'll see that within their arms to their torso is a thin flap of almost like a wing. What's his character's name? Um, on the bracket, you would see that that Wayland is fighting Nightwing. And is the mask like a court of owls mask? I, in a, yeah, in a sense. Okay. And so this person's a little taller, but muscular. Um, they've got kind of longer fingers, um, almost like a wing attaching their body, almost like a flying squirrel kind of thing. Use tongue next time. And on their feet, you would see these like big metallic boots, but with like razor sharp talons. 
It's not their actual feet. They don't have talons as feet, but they've, yeah. they've the leaned motif. into it. Yeah, they've leaned into it and created hawk-like talons on their feet. Um, okay. Also, uh, I got Tiny and Dave here. Nice! Hell is, yeah! Is Tiny naked? What is that? Yeah, he's wearing shorts. Oh. Yeah. It's just like a little, I don't know, I just pictured it, it would be funny if he had like a little like surfer <laughs> vibe. <laughs> I and dig there's, it. There's Dave. Dave. <laughs> Theo is like, going to lean over to his Tiny new looks, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Tiny looks like he's part of uh, Jersey Shore. Yeah, but just with like a huge kingpin body is my vibe. Yep. GTL, baby, GTL. Um, okay, uh, so that's my opponent, huh? And this person, unlike Dave, looks like mega confident. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. They're shifts. looking around at, at the, the cage and just kind of nods and looks out at the crowd and kind of like does one of these and people. Are, yeah. And there's even a small group of other. I don't have a name for this like mutated species, but you, you kind of recognize because. They look humanoid, but their their nose is a little flatter. Um, they are usually got some longer appendages, and oftentimes you'll see them kind of wearing loose-fitting tops so that it doesn't hug their wings. Um, some of them just do tank tops, but real low cut so that they can still access the skin flaps um, <laughs> if they need to. Skin flaps, skin sleeves, what's next? Nobody knows. <laughs> uh, but Theo would like to make a bet with his new betting buddy. <laughs> Quadruple or nothing. Wayland. Or Captain yeah, Hook. Oh. Oh, that guy fucked up that guy, Dave, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and, and he, like, you see him, like, kind of scrounging with the few credits he's gotten. Or here and here, hear me out. We, we'll just owe each other a favor. A favor? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Bet, bet. Let me shake on it. And then I would like to roll connections to see what I know about Nightwing. All right, go for it. Seven. Jesus. So his social <laughs> insurance number is. <laughs> <laughs> My goal is so I can coach from the coach from the sidelines. Okay. That's and so I can like call out like He's got a I'm weak chin. Exactly. Yeah. That's what that, that's the information I'm looking for. Cuz Theo's been here before and clearly Nightwing is a crowd favorite. Sure. Uh okay, so Nightwing, you didn't don't know him as a person. No. He's no, wearing no. a mask. Um he could be any one of these mutated species, but uh you do recognize a a tattoo that he's got on his uh, forearm. Up the right. What? Left. Of what? <laughs> of. Uh, it's an eagle. Come on, an just eagle. Like... <laughs> sure. I was trying to think so... of anything that could be used, like actually in in narratively used, but yeah, it's an eagle. It says soar like an eagle. I would like his entry song. I will pay a fate point. I would like his entrance song to be the one song from High School Musical. The I'm soaring, I'm flying. <laughs> soaring. Yes, but yeah. it's been 150 years since that song, and so now there's been, a death metal cover of it. It's been mostly forgotten and lost to time. So you see, you hear like elements, like chord structure, and a few lines, and a theater geek would be like, "Hey, that's from High School Musical," <laughs> but. Nobody was around then to even recognize it. So there's there's a weird a version. Cut. Sure. It's yeah. a deep cut. I'm gonna spend a fate point to make the Faust Institute musical. And that's where <laughs> the song was you just... <laughs> No I'm kidding. <laughs> Y'all are animals. Y'all are gonna end up in a Y'all are we gonna are... end up in a fight with no fate points. Right yeah, you absolutely. Have to tell the story. Uh I'm curious though, Al. During all this, what have you been doing? Um, probably what Al does best, and uh, trying to case the joint between fights. So how do you case the joint? 
uh, just going around the ring and during distractions or big events, just try to slip a little bit of stuff out of people's pockets. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and roll a, a burglary or, or a stealth. Yeah, stealth. I'm stealing. This is burglary. Come on. Okay. I, I mean, they're both they're the both good. Like it's, I have a plus to... four, a plus three. Let's be real here. Jesus, a rogue. It's almost like I built this character to do this thing. Uh, wow. Okay, uh, it's a plus four. Uh, so, and, and this is like just in the bleachers, or are where are you stealing? Yeah, from? It, I'm. I'm not gonna go after anybody that may or may not have like security or something like that. Just. Uh, some bystanders in the bleachers, yeah. Okay. Because, like, bleachers, you know, like, at high school, you can sit there and you can reach up underneath the bleachers. You can mm -hmm. sit there and be like, Whoop. So, you, you gain about 20 credits during this. Um, and also, what you went to go grab is a pen, but upon investigation, you, like, flick, click, click it, and a small knife pops out instead. Yo. So you get 20 credits keep, in my friend. Definitely keep that. Let's go in the back of the small of my back. So as inside this cage, as soon as it, it lowers and the lights come up, um, then you feel the entire space, the, the arena, lift off the ground. And the, the crowd starts roaring because this is brand new. They've never really had a cage before, and this is beyond just a cage. And you're noticing that the hydraulic system almost looks like it can do more than just lift. It can also lower. Yeah. Super <laughs> cool. <laughs> you hear, fight begin! Oh shit, I didn't have to read my cue cards. Aw, oh, you yes. bastard, I paid points for promos! Yeah. What's the storyline? Um, you're gonna make another uh, flightless bird joke. Oh shit! Yeah, I already. He's. Oh no, he has flight though. Yeah, he's he's a flight bird. Uh, no. I don't know. Let me let me see what that the card says. That must mean you're a, a flightless bird. Let me let me no, see that. He, <laughs> nice. He's a he's a clay pigeon, and you're gonna choose him. I don't know. This this cage will be your tomb. <laughs> and I I like walk up to him. I was like, what's that one? <laughs> Is that slang? I don't. I don't feel comfortable saying that word. Yeah, goof. <laughs> anyway, I'll just skip it. I'll just skip it. Um, I'm gonna ground you into stock and make you into a soup. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> Can I roll to see who wrote these? I want to see who in the crowd is mouthing along. With <laughs> <laughs> you see somebody with like a clipboard, like. Just like Say this it. is their moment. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, the, the there's like a curtain. Manager. He's like hiding behind it. Call mine. <laughs> it's call mine. And you see Nightwing across the way, like, really? Bird cage, chicken noodle soup. This is the best you got. <laughs> That's racist. And he throws his cards. Um, and he's gonna come. He's gonna come towards you. Oh, we gotta do the let's initiative roll. thing. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, five. So he he comes. Oh no, it's athletics, you. right? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, three. Okay, so he still comes towards you, um, but you get the first punch. Okay. Cool. Punch uh, him in the wing. <laughs> in the arm. <laughs> in the oh yeah, basically. Flat. Based on that Cut connection, you remember um, that he he does. He's got like a weak kidney on the side. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh yes. shit! Okay, so body blows. I guess yeah. is what. Them bird bones are brittle. Get after it. <laughs> <laughs> They're so hollow. All right. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna strafe and I'm gonna try to get him. Try to get him right between. Uh, the ribs there. All right. 
<laughs> oh yeah, brother. That's a six. <laughs> Damn. Are you using uh, rings? Yeah, I added my plus one. Damn. Oh, and also, it, it would be like, I don't know if you're talking about like consequences, but it would be piercing damage, because it's my hook. Okay. So, he goes he goes in for a, like a, right, a wide right hook, and you just strafe the side, and you catch him right in the side, and like fish hook him in the underneath the rib. And he's got the mask on, but you hear just, Gah! Uh, that hurt. Um, yeah, ouch. I so guess it's his you, turn now? Yeah, do you, and you leave, do you leave the hook in, or do you, like, pierce him in? I guess I would pull it out. Yeah, I'd pull it out. Okay. Oh, that's worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, i pull it pull out. out. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So he's You don't bleeding. pull out a stab wound? Come on, guys. That makes it worse. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm trying to incapacitate him, so... Facts. I'm trying yep. to make it worse. I'm going to give him the consequence that immediately he's bleeding out. Rip and tear. So Rip he's bleeding tear. profusely, uh, but he's still, he's still going. But it's at that moment that kind of suspended, not too high off the ground, because they still want the, the bleachers to be able to see... Um, this thing starts rotating. Yeah. Hell yeah. I had a failing. Um, and do I get like a it's reaction to that at all? Or Yeah, sure. Roll athletics okay. to see how well. Um, I want to... Uh, I don't even know if this requires... Like, I'll, I'll decide the roll, but regardless, what I want to do is I want to like just like fire my uh, grappling hook at like an anchor spot, like in a corner, so that I can like mm -hmm. be suspended as it's spinning. Yeah. Um, and so that is athletics, you said? Yeah. Um, that is a... Oh, I am going to spend a fate point to re-roll it, because I rolled a zero. <laughs> Come on, dice, don't fail me now. Take away my plus two, and I'm, uh, I mean my plus four, and I'm just a useless man. Um, <laughs> so that is... <laughs> Man, I spent a fate point to get literally a one. Ooh. <laughs> um, and they do the same. They roll like shit uh, because he's bleeding out. But um, I'm gonna invoke an aspect. Float like a, or yeah, float like a feather. Wait, what is it? Float, float like, like a, a butterfly. butterfly. That's it. Bee. Sting like a bee. Float like a butterfly. That's what his the one of his aspects. Sting like a bee thing is That's all what his I really tattoo thought. is on his forearm. Yeah. Float like a butterfly and it's an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> eagle! Ah. Oh, that's horrific. He's so you... Dummy. So it's rotating and you both are kind of caught off guard. You, you're you not able to... You like maybe shoot the hook, but it doesn't quite latch on. And so you kind of grab onto the cage. And he does the same. One with a hand and one with kind of the talon that hooks in. And so you're both on one wall but suspended at a kind of an angle above oh, so the, the arena. So the floor is like this? The floor isn't like this, it's like this. Well, it was like this, but it it rotated, but at an angle. So now everything oh, so is off like kilter. This. Yeah. Copy. It's not like a perfect 45. It's right. Okay, and as copy, you, copy. as it, you could have slid, but you, you both kind of grab onto the wall, the cage wall just behind you. So you're suspended, but at an angle. So now they're just gonna be hanging from the cage, kicking each other. Hell yeah. <laughs> and so now that is a that's a situational aspect that is both available to you and to Nightwing. Okay. It's okay. his turn though, I think. Yeah. So at that angle, he's holding on and he's going to like swing the foot and try to cut you with his talon foot. Okay. Oh shit, I gotta roll. Sorry. So not <laughs> I did Dave. Dave was a primer, but <laughs> four. Rolled net zero again. Okay. So, just barely he goes to like cut you with his his talon foot, but uh, it, you just kind of duck out of the way. <sighs> okay. Um. Uh. So then, I guess. Uh. So the idea is we're both like on the edge, and it's a slope downwards, right? Mm -hmm. Um. And he's 
latched on with his foot, so his arms are free. But I only have one arm. Oh, he's I got one arm hook. too. He's he's hanging on with one foot and one arm. So okay. he's got one foot and one arm available. Also, I probably have to do the same thing, but just I I don't have the 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 uh, spikies. Right. So I guess what I'll do then is I'm going to. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot my grappling hook at him then. I forgot about that. All right. <laughs> shoot him with my grappling roll, hook. Roll shoot yeah. then. Yeah. Tangle up his wings. Ooh. Okay. Bullocks. Uh, that's uh, a three. Hmm. <laughs> So you attempt, he rolled really well. He rolled a, a three plus his fight, which is plus two. So he rolled a five. So you go to shoot this thing, and... I'm gonna compel you with okay. your right-hand man. Okay. So you go to shoot it, and he not only, like, uh, dodges the hook, but with his available talon foot... Um, like hooks it around the cable. So not not that he's like tied to it, but he's kind of wrapped around so he's he could jostle you. Okay, okay. understood. Yeah. So he like essentially caught my fist. Yeah, except it's a cable. Yeah. You let go and swing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I on my turn. I I'm not gonna bring on his. Bones. He ain't supporting both of you. I didn't say he had brittle bones as a bird. That's no, literally that's how a, that works, or he will fact. not be able to fly. That's how physics works, Ozer. Anyway, what's, anyway. what's he do on his turn? <laughs> he's, so with that in his talon, he's going to like look across the cage and look at you, and he's going to let go and kind of outstretch his <gasps> wings. And some people do, and like the other... I need a name for these people, but the other like him are like looking around at like giving death players because that is so fucking racist. That's <laughs> so insensitive. Oh, so people insensitive. are literally calling? Yeah. Some... Cue Alec in the chat right now losing his mind. <laughs> 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 Pretty much. So what he's going to attempt to do is like fly a across the ring but while hooking your arm and just like yank you and slam you against the wall. Does the bleeding out okay. impact him at all? If you invoke like that's that's like a consequence that you can invoke. Oh, okay. you could use that against him. Copy that. Oh, so it's just not like a static debuff. Uh, Narratively, it can come into play for sure. Okay. Austin's um, username is very fitting. True. Yeah. <laughs> for hiding a bird. Um, I rolled a net zero again, so that's four. <laughs> so they they he attempts, he like flies around and like pulls on it, but you're not letting. So right now he is He's suspended in the air and I'm like holding him He's like, like a kite. Tummy. Yeah, he's essentially what? a kite. <laughs> is that is that what, what you're saying? Let me see. He can't fly, he can glide. He can't fly. Oh, okay. Um he he rolled a plus four bones. defense. <laughs> oh wait, so then can I okay, so if he's if he failed technically, yeah. uh, do I get a boost? Sure, I'll let you use that moment. Like it's okay, a free cool. invocation in that moment. React. Then I would like to use him as a flail and slam him into the canvas with the okay. cable. Oh, Give it a go. Nice. Using his body weight. So that's a Give plus it a go. two. Yeah. Let's go. Um, that is a five, six, seven, eight. Boom. So with that, he's like flying. It's immediately a bad decision. And you slam him down. Oh, gum, that, gum, on gavel! <laughs> right. And it, blood just, like, sprays out of his side. Oh. And hits the front row, not yours, Theo. Thank God. Theo not in the this. splash zone? Yeah, not in the splash <laughs> zone. Sirkin, Sirkin's like this. <laughs> Bathe me in the glory. <laughs> I'm like, if Sorry. you took uh, Andy Dufresne at the end of Shawshank Redemption, but the blood from Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's... That's where That's I live. So Yo, good. If I can remember, I want to draw a certain dirty dancing style on a chair with blood. 
All right. Um, oh, our official note taker is not here. Someone, somebody write that down. <laughs> and write it down. Write it down. Not only down. does it spray, but the how the crowd hears a distinct like snap. Ooh. Ooh. Did I just paralyze this guy? This minority. <laughs> this minority. That's a hate crime. Oh no. Cause you rolled a what, a seven, you said? Eight. Oh no. Uh yeah, Jeez. you just see him he's like lying on the on the mat and bleeding out, now a pool of blood, and he is not getting up. But you can see oh wait, no, you can't see because he's wearing a mask. He's not getting up. Theo leans over. I'm gonna need your name and number. <laughs> and he just like hands er, He's like, "Give me your phone." <laughs> not being a smart. What's his name so I can like call upon him later? Fagan. Fagan. F A G O N. Sure. Why not? A G O N Fagan. Um, owes <laughs> Theo a favor. Fagan, gambling addict. <laughs> Number four. And after a few moments, the crowd is like in a hush. And then you hear a ding, 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 and the cage. Like, corrects itself and starts lowering down as people are... <laughs> and they're, like, crossing Nightwing off the bracket, moving Wayland to the third and final round. Cinematically, I'd love it if when people are jumping up and losing their mind at the end of this fight, that's when they note it, like, Vox tries to, and I push oh! down a little, and that's when he realizes the situation we're in. Okay. And so, from them, uh, for... Theo and Kit across, they see the our whole stand stand up except for me and Vox. <laughs> like it really isolates the two of us for them. Oh, that just And so while people are, are screaming, almost like he's whispering, but you can hear him. And he's like, Look, man, what do you want? I want to know where is Tobias Pfeiffer. I don't know who that is. The man with red hair. The same as the girl across the way you clearly recognize. And you you can hear and sense through the artery in his leg. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's so weird. <laughs> Heart starts racing. I feel your panic. Would you like to feel this panic on the outside as well? Roll a... <laughs> Intimidation. <laughs> Fuck. The DC's really low, don't worry. <laughs> uh, a two. All right. Um... Meet me outside. I will... Stay with you kindly. Anybody else starting to love Sergin? <laughs> <laughs> he grows on you. Or is this the toxicity in my life? <laughs> <laughs> so as as the crowd is like coming back down and people are going back to the betting tables to retrieve their winnings and uh, cash out. Winnings? Shouldn't I should be like crazy underdog? People should be like crying many of them are but some like Theo is i don't know how people who bet on you are i don't know how betting works like do they have to go pay or they already paid it they don't collect you how like, does that you, work i think you put your money away and then you just don't get it if you lose okay but if you do if you are owed more because you won right so okay. if you paid if you if he had 10 to 1 odds for every dollar you bet you'd get 10 yeah back and with Waylon, this being his first time versus like Nightwing, Waylon would have been the underdog, so his payout is going to be considerably more. Oh yeah, and they bet on me to win, right? 
So they yeah, didn't some leave. people. Yeah. Yeah, that fight at least, that one fight. So now you see kind of a flood of people going to the table. Captain Hook, Captain Hook, Captain Hook. I'm justifying my yeah. resources. Now the odds are changing and <laughs> mm -hmm. the next payout won't be so good. And just a reminder, um T, you bet 5,000 on Dave. Yeah, that's fine. But t also 5,000 on Captain Hook. Exactly. So, so you got your money I'm coming back. out ahead. Yeah. Sir, can you bet twenty five hundred on the, Captain Hook? What were the odds on the Nightwing Wayland fight? I don't know. Ten to one. <laughs> bet. There we go. Fifty grand. Yeah, no, not that. Because this is a ten thousand dollar or credit fight, so no, it's not that crazy. Listen, Theo just needs to justify his expenses well, in sure. game, and this you is made how lots. I'm doing it. You made <laughs> lots. You made lots. 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 So of now lots. you can't come back. You don't have the money. I'm like, bitch, please. You said ten to one odds. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, so, Kit, are you still kind of keyed in on Vox during that fight? Oh, oh yeah. Like I probably would have like, you know, made it look like I was looking other places, but like probably kept my eye on what was going on now that Sirkin had inserted himself. Mm -hmm. So and among other things. So across <laughs> across the way from that you can see from a distance like everyone got up and cheered. They did not. Um and as people are scattering, they're kind of seated a little bit. And he's kind of looking kind of afraid and Sirkin's hand is weirdly still on his thigh. But after a moment Vox gets up and he's like, uh, Leon, I'm I'm gonna get a drink. You need anything? And she's, she's like, don't leave me alone with him. And and he's like, uh, hey buddy, you needed something? Why don't you come grab a drink with me? Gladly. He whispers to the guy that moved over for him, watch the girl. And gets up. <laughs> uh Theo's gonna take this time to actually go talk to Liana. Okay. So Sirkin, you follow Vox. He's headed towards the bar, but he, he kind of like glances around and dips towards that back hallway through that double set of doors. So Kit, you, you can see that they're headed that direction. But Theo, you get up and head towards Liana. Yes. Okay. And, and she's just like looking around and she's like sipping on a drink and she sees you coming and just like, what now, Uncle Theo? I just want to make sure you understand that I can find you whenever I need to. And the decisions you are making have consequences. Yeah. But there are consequences that I think are worth it. So that's, as long as that's a... Uh... As long as how you believe. Uh, Theo's going to turn to the other guy. What's your name, bud? And he, he gruffly looks. I'm supposed to watch her. Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm the godfather. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context for this guy, that's so strange. <laughs> uh, my associate and you have been. Seem to have made an agreement. What do you nice. do for work? I'm a florist. I absolutely Look. love that for you. Do you have a card? No, I don't really do card. Have you ever heard of Don Coochies? Don Coochies. Oh, I love that Don place. Coochies. Yeah, I'm Don. Absolute <laughs> pleasure to meet you. He's the yeah. Don. He's the Don Don Coochie? of Don Coochies? So, so <laughs> we have the Don and the Godfather finally <laughs> meeting. That's fucking amazing. Uh, Theo's going to pull out his wallet and hand over credits. Um, I would just like to thank you um, for keeping an, a close eye on my goddaughter and making sure she doesn't get into any trouble. Wait, what's your name? And he, he puts a, a hand out. Theodore Maxwell. And you see his eyes kind of light up. No shit. You give me great business. All right. I told you, <laughs> big fan. Yeah, yeah. Hey, next time I next time I see your name come through, I'm gonna give you something special. I appreciate that greatly. All right, nothing like the coochie special. <laughs> okay, everybody. 
everybody. This has been very coochie centric <laughs> since it's minute one. It's his name. It's pronounced Coochalanimous. <laughs> there nice. it is. That's the last one. All right, we're done now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tune in Bozer next wins. week. Tune in next week to see how it wins. Uh, it's now break. in the file. It is. Wow. That's good. All right. Uh, so while you're talking to Don Cucci and Liana, um, Al, Kit, what are you doing? Uh, Kit's probably going to save seats. Um, you can see her. Just... You can see her. They're coming right back this way. No, I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> but she's probably just going to sit there and you know, just kind of take it all in, still looking around, watching the interactions between Theo and Leona and, you know. And at, at one point, uh, this kind of, this woman comes over and she's got long uh, pink hair, just shock pink hair. Sleeveless and tattoos. She like walks by and she leans over. Hey. You by yourself? No. That's a weird question to just walk up and ask someone. <laughs> I don't know, I like your vibe. I'm just shooting my shot. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. See you later. All right. See you later. Continues to sit there and she continues to stand there. <laughs> she, she made that taint eye contact for a little bit long and like kind of up-downs you. She's like, well... You know where to find me. She flips her big pink hair. Keeps on no, trucking. Actually, I don't. We didn't discuss that. You'll find her. You'll, You'll find, find her. When her. You need her. Yeah. Al, uh, what are you doing? Wait, oh, hold sorry. up. Hold up. Yeah? Hold up. Uh, can I just roll perception to see if there's anything that connects her with anyone? Sure. Like, tattoo. Because you said she had tattoos. So, uh -huh. she got an eagle. You know, I don't know. I, I'd rather roll and kind of maybe feel it out. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Okay. Four. Nice. Well, I just made her up, so... We're creating so <laughs> many NPCs right now. I'm loving this. So many. You know, this is what you get for them not asking what drink she was drinking. When you're like, oh, she's uh, drinking... Uh, Vi's drinking... Or Liliana's drinking a drink, and no one said what drink she drink. This is what you get for that no this is what you give for two seasons worth of shows you're like oh who's that what do they do <laughs> <laughs> i have a new appreciation redemption yes <laughs> through pain <Yeah>. mine <laughs> um yeah she's just got some like the equivalent of tribals if they move forward about 150 years Tribal's yeah. never going anywhere. But it, it's a little Hell different, yeah. but basically that's what it is. Um, but she does, she's got uh, some knuckle dusters of uh, on her on her right hand. For fashion. Purely. Unrelated. Yeah, yeah completely unrelated. Yes. Yeah. And she just like kind of backs up and like smiles away as she's walking towards the bar. Listen, you oh listen. fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Damn. If you're listening to the podcast version of this, you are missing out <laughs> on the <laughs> sweet too. art. This is what we fuck get yes. for. There it is. This is why we have an artist on the team. <laughs> <laughs> he can't Not help but create. He's cre drawing all these NPCs as in live time. It's my fidget spinner, <laughs> which he hates. So How did surfing. you know that? Did I tell you, you about told that? Me. Okay. <laughs> On one of our streams, we had a whole conversation about ADHD tools. That was that was crazy. I don't remember like, shit like oh, that. You felt, you felt really seen at that moment. I felt like I just got an ardward. <laughs> so Sirkin, you follow Vox um, towards the back room, and you guys go through, and another worker kind of like just bypasses you and there's some other people like maybe down the hallway there's a couple making out and um some other people might be like shooting up some x but they're down the way and it's kind of dimly lit um and he just like kind of backs into the walls like, look man i don't know what your thing is like i'm just I, i'm here to have a good time take me to tobias 
Pfeiffer. Listen, up until now, I didn't even know his name. He didn't know his name. I found him, he was, he was pretty messed up. Where is he now? <sighs> Somewhere that I am not supposed to take people. That's kind of what got me into this whole fucking mess. I give him a quick slice with my scalpel. Oh. <laughs> Um, you already rolled intimidation, right? I did. Um, yeah. So that's intimidation. If you're actually doing it, I know. I'm yeah. just. I didn't want to make you roll again. Um, but where do you slice him? Uh, his hand, like the back of his hand, just a quick. Uh, his carotid artery. <laughs> <laughs> quick murder, real quick. Yeah, just a real, just a fast murder. <laughs> did you see the man in the last fight? With the grappling hook hand. Yeah, he's really badass. <laughs> I Thank you. possess that hand. <laughs> oh my god! I would like another. I would take anyone's set. hand for a matching set. And it's or, the, oh yeah. will you take me to Tobias Pfeiffer? And he's like just staring, blank eyed, and you see like tears welling up. Because <laughs> he absolutely believes that you have that hand. <laughs> the question is, is it weirder that he would have taken the hand, like physically from him, or that he purchased the hand from <laughs> somebody else? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Either way, he <laughs> believes it. This guy he believes I it. got that hand, and it was a steal. <laughs> Top layer fits me like a glove. <laughs> okay. 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 Where is he? He's not here. That's not what I asked you. He's, but we we'll, we'll have to. It's not even in this district. Tell me where. <laughs> In the greenhouses! In the greenhouses! You're too kind. Jay, a back exit somewhere. We're going now. Okay. Um. Split the party. <laughs> <laughs> if so, I can get my hands on Tobias without y'all being there, ho oh, ho, that's, that's my game. That's it. You won fate. <laughs> um, so he heads back towards the double set of doors. Um, and he, he like walks through the crowd and he's contemplating like telling Liana, but uh, he doesn't, Would he doesn't he know what to do. See this. I mean, we have an ion circuit coming and going. Yeah. Go ahead and roll perception. Cause now there's a lot of people milling about you sat next to Liana. So oh. you lost eyes cause they went, to the, your rear in the, it's only in the a three. Head. All right, still pretty good. Kit, go ahead and you roll two. And Al, too. <laughs> what am I rolling? Perception? Yeah. Is it a two, Al? Okay. It's a two. Also a two. Okay. Um, uh, mm. I'm a little preoccupied. Yeah, stealing, stealing things and stealing acquiring things, not stealing. Stealing is bad. Yeah. So Theo, as you're talking to Liana, you're like facing her and like just behind her, you see Vox like kind of stop and look and like catch eyes with you and like not quite knowing how to act cool in this moment because he's afraid for his life. Um, and he just starts headed back towards the exit. I'm going to kiss Leon on the forehead, but I'll see you around. I'm going to turn to the Don, shake his hand, and I'm going to follow Sirkin. Okay. As, as he's walking in front of me, I want to, I'm casually, I want to keep talking to him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask him, <laughs> what's your greatest fear? What the fuck, bro? 
Well, and that, I poke him a little bit. Just <laughs> poke. Like you answer, him, you answer heights, my heights, question. Heights. Is he lying or is he telling the truth? It's truth. Perfect. It's a good thing we're in a floating city. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's a good poll. So they're headed towards the exit. Theo, do you follow them? Yes. Okay. Um, can I know I rolled eh, to see if Sirkin. Yeah. But would I have seen Theo? Because I'm kind of yeah. Can I roll to see that or no? You saw it. Just... You saw that. Okay. Because you're as you're like saving seats, like you see him right across. You would attract him. He's the only other person that you know here. Um, you're getting hit on by strangers. <laughs> I can imagine that you're out of your league, or out of your comfort zone, and you're no, just she's like locking her league. It's Kit. Come on. Yeah. Right. League wise, it's, yes, but comfort it's zone. Not my league. Sure. I make it my league. Hell um, yeah. <laughs> um. I'm going to get up and follow because if Theo's on a track to go somewhere, especially because he knows I'm awkwardly sitting over here, he's got to be going somewhere for a reason. So I'm going to get up and go as well. Okay. See, so as you're heading that way, you're, you're trailing Theo, who's trailing them, who is just about to make it to the stairway, the greatest stairway that led down to this area. When the lights, <clears throat> pitch black. And then you hear the... <clears throat> I see your heartbeat. He whispers in the darkness behind <laughs> Fox when it's pitch black. Piss all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. If it if the lights were up, you might notice a little bit of piddle. <laughs> but we Sirkin can hear it. I yeah, can I hear say, it. Yeah. Yeah. Got his leg. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's, it's just like you hear the heavy breathing, you hear the trickle down his leg, and you can change your pants real when now. we arrive. <laughs> and Wayland, you are once again ushered, and as they're like ushering through, they're like giving you index cards, and they're like, <laughs> you hear some people just like, bro, just give up. Okay. This ain't gonna happen for you. Which guy? The one he's about to fight, so I can get notes as you described. You'll find out once they, well, the lights come up. <laughs> um, I, I I heed them no mind. Okay. And in the darkness, you hear over the loudspeaker, "Are you ready for the fight of the night?" Everyone roars, <sighs> and once again you hear. The, the cage lowering. And the lights, like, kind of come up just a little. They don't flash on. It's like low lighting. And in that low lighting, you hear, like, a crackle of electricity. And in the silhouette of the light, you hear, you see large spikes out of the caged area. On the inside. Kick ass. And the lights Austin does not like this. <laughs> <laughs> and the lights slowly fade up. He's been kicking ass all night long. Give it up for your underdog hero, Captain Hook. Who has just now heard it for the first time, so not saying it. <laughs> and a spotlight flashes on your corner. I was, I was... <clears throat> Can we forego this? This is getting a little monotonous. And you, you see, like, somebody, the guy at the clipboard. Come on, you guys! You said this was gonna be cool! <laughs> And in the other corner, the badass of badasses himself. You hear some crowds cheering. The man without a mask. Dave. And the light. <laughs> Dave, too. 
<laughs> and the light flashes. And you see an individual. Uh, he's got kind of a, a torn up uh, tank top. Some like military pants and boots. Lucas. But heavy ink. On one hand, on one arm is like this intricate snake-like tattoo. On the other is a dagger. And you can see underneath the tank top it's, are some others that you can't quite make out. And uh, the, on, on the face, you might recognize him. The youngest child of Kieran Gold. Oh, oh shit. Did not see that coming. Holy shit. That's what, Finnegan? Alden. Alden. Ladies! Fuck. Bring in the axe! And you see these, like, hypersexualized ladies walking in. One nice. is a is blood, a winged blood, blood. <laughs> Come on with the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> One is a winged person. Um and they're walking in, they they bring like a small black box and they open it to both Alden on his side and Wayland on yours. Do Fuck. you partake? You've never done X before, correct? I don't. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> he he know just emolts. It will do to me. Uh... As you're thinking, what is it? okay? What what gear does he have? What does he look at? You said spikes and stuff. What's going? What what am I looking at? Am I intimidated? Uh, he doesn't seem to have many weapons. He he looks pretty bare. He is a weapon, but he like grabs the vial as if something that he does. All the damn time. Ooh. Takes like the the vial, like slams it into this plunger syringe, like spins it in his fingers, poof, right into the vein. Um, Wayland, if you are checking him out, roll a perception from across the ring. Yeah. Hee hee hee. That's a negative two to my plus one. <laughs> so you're really intimidated. <laughs> So you can't quite Yikes. make out what's happening, but yeah, he injects the X and just like, oh, fuck yeah. That's so fucking creepy and I hate it. Um, all right, give me the shit. Let's do it. We're here for it. <laughs> Does Alden physically change at all? Like that we could see in this moment? So you're even further, You're you're walking away. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just making notes. This isn't a Theo question. This is a note taker question. Um, you'll you can take the note when you notice the change. Uh, okay. I so we'll see it. Yeah, I'll see it. Hold on. Let me. <laughs> I, I didn't leave the party. The party left me <laughs> again. Right. Um. Yeah. Okay. I think you know. Four. I've never Four? done it before. I've never done it before, but. The, my party is depending on me to win this fight and I have never heard of long term effects other than death so I'm going to die or win so I'm in at the end of the day all your problems are solved yeah oh my God. <laughs> let's do it so Al since you rolled a plus 4 you notice that as he injects it the ink on his arm starts to move <laughs> and like the the dagger on one starts to outstretch onto a hand and almost the entire arm starts to form into a a sword cool very cool he doesn't he doesn't unleash it he just kind of like feels it meanwhile on the other side the snake that arm like almost becomes uh, like a wet noodle. <laughs> Serpentine. <laughs> like there's <laughs> Serpentine. That's a better word. I'm like, what? No, there's a wet cool word noodle. It, it almost <laughs> becomes. It almost becomes completely unintimidating. 
I'm a snake. A slithery, snake. slithery snake. And his arm becomes like <laughs> elongates and like almost scales. All right, Orochimaru, calm down. Whoa. Yeah. And he's just like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm a snake. I'm a slippery snake. A snake. Fuck yeah, dude. Wayland, roll a d100 for me. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm not deciding how X this affects you. Fate will. He just becomes super intelligent. Holy shit. That would be so fucking fight. lame. I the can speak thing, with plants. The first thing I thought was, was if he got regeneration and grew his hand back and it oh. broke up. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> um, Alright, that's a 40, 41. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. I have an entire list. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, no. So as the X injects into your veins and you feel for the first time this rush, at first there's a sting that kind of spreads throughout your entire body. But uh, as you let it set in, and you kind of look to see it's, if it is anything changing. Are you becoming a snail? What's happening? Um, within the palm of your hand, you kind of sense a small gust. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. Wicked. All right. All right. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you kind of figure this out as you figure it out. Okay. Rasengan! <laughs> Rasengan! Except I only have one hand, so I'm just sitting there like... <laughs> <laughs> but the curvature of the hook is going to be perfect for trying to form. Nice. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> yeah, I just I just put it in front, and then it spins. Ex um, just Beyblade it? <laughs> <laughs> so um, those okay. on the stairs, as the lights came up, um, they never announced... Alden Gold, because it goes without announcement. Mm -hmm. But you would, Sirkin, you would absolutely recognize this kid. And he's he's probably like 21. Holy shit. Um, Sirkin, you would know that he's the youngest. He's not the heir of the Gold family. He's a heavy ex-user because the pressure's not on him. And He's also kind of untouchable as a gold family. So he's irresponsible and chaotic in a very dangerous kind of way. Nepotism. He's Joffrey. In nepotism. Yeah. So what are you guys doing as you're exiting? I, I'm, I'm so torn. Um, there, there is definitely a, there's a, a noticeable hesitation that Sirkin stops walking, but then decides this is as close as I've gotten to Tobias. I can't let it go and pushes, pushes forward. Theo is going to turn to Kit, stay with him, and Theo is going to walk back to his seat for Wayland. <laughs> oh, that's because so this awesome. is very usable information for Theo. Yeah. So as Sirkin pushes Vox with a small blade and it's bleeding out of his hand, out the door, Kit, you're following? Mm hmm Al has no idea what's going on. You're just enjoying the fight and stealing. I'm enjoying the fight. Theo's hanging back, and Waylon is about to go face-to-face -face with Alden Gold. <laughs> using X up. for the first time. I think that's where we're going to end today. Oh. I'm so glad we're doing one episode. If I miss oh, this next episode, man. I would be irate. <laughs> oh. What do you mean? This is live. This is totally live. I'm going to use a fate point to m do another episode. Because <laughs> <laughs> normally, y'all, when we record, if, if we can, we record two at a time. We change our clothes behind the fourth wall, behind the curtain. <laughs> 
This is live. What are you guys talking about? We're doing this live. That See, really Alec. doesn't exist. I edit for for Sirkin and Kit's buddy cop film. That's, that's a part of why I Woo! left because I want because I have a feeling oh, Kit's no. going to become a little Sirkin, and I want to <laughs> set the scene for that Tend to be a wow. Because if Theo was there, I feel like Kit would be conflicted of like whose path she would follow to get information. But the idea of a little Sirkin running around <laughs> is just when, too tasty to not let fate Baby's allow. first psychopathy becomes the thing she despises. Whew. Whew. And Wayland's yet to get hit. Yeah, I haven't taken oh. damage yet. Um, I feel like that's going to change there, bub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Uh, All of you at home, thank you for tuning in tonight to Cloudscape, whether you're live here in the Twitch chat or you're watching back on YouTube or listening back on podcasts. We appreciate you. Keep coming back. Keep staying tuned to this ongoing story. We do it every Thursday at 8 p.m. live on Twitch, and then you can catch it on the following Saturday on YouTube and podcast. I can't wait to see what happens next. This was one of my top favorite episodes so far. <laughs> Just because it sets up so many delicious things. But until next time, I'm Bozer. I'm Josh. I'm Britt. I'm Austin. I'm here. I'm T. And you just keep geeking out. Geeking, geeking out. out. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.